Okay, I'm here at the airboat tours. You get on it, looks like a pretty big boat here. It's got a bunch of seats and stuff on it. So I'm gonna go out in the swamp and see what's out here. about you up there, the last crew. They liked you.
you fall in, do they help you get back in the boat or? Yeah, they push you up. I thought oh, so. <laughs> Another one in front of us coming. When they swim up to the boat like this, we tell y'all they on payroll. Yep, I was about to say they, and they, they take time, time to get an alligator comfortable enough where he's gonna come and take something from it. Oh yeah. Where you from, man? Michigan. All right. What about y'all? California. California. What about y'all two young ladies? California. All right. What we're gonna be touring on right here is 2,500 acres, private owned. We all do different tours, go to different areas, talk about different stuff. Let me see. That wind's gonna set us right here. He's gonna come back. What is that that you threw in? Is that a marshmallow? Yes, sir. They like them? There he is. Okay, while well, they got one where y'all can see it. Alligators are cold blooded. They're nighttime animals. They have 40 teeth on the top, 40 on the bottom. They lose a tooth, another tooth comes in its place. Shit, I wish that happened to us. So the babies are food too, huh? What really gets them is the birds. The big white egrets, the gray herons, the hawks, the eagles, they pop them little gators like popcorn. And they so small, swimming in the water, the bass will eat them, the catfish will eat them. Wow. Well, we in a program, it's run by the state, we collect the alligator eggs. And what we do is we fly over with a helicopter and we look for their nests. Once we find it, we get a GPS read and we throw out a cane pole with a pink flag. You may have noticed them inside the house when you're past. Well, come July, we'll come out here with a small boat, way smaller than this. Some people, you know, bring one of our buddies that was really, really not like him. Put him out the boat first. He's got to distract that female while we get the egg. Now, you can't turn the egg or flip it, you'll kill a baby. So, when we open up the nest, the way the eggs are laid out, we draw a line on each one with a pencil, showing us it's the top. It takes two and a half weeks to get them all. But once we get all the eggs collected, alligator farm gets them. He does at the farm where he wants to be hatches, he'll keep them in the dark, he keeps the temperature up high, and they fed the machine on the time. He'll feed them some protein. He can grow them two and a half to three months a year. But we leave them there a year, he's got to give us a percentage of them gave us back in 2000. All the ones we get from him to Top of the tail, comes through a beak. Then you got a single row of horns going in, they call skewers. The 
Palma notch is there. You cut one off, you may cut three off. If it don't grow back, it's like a social security card for the allergies. If you start 20, 25 years from now, by the notch of the tail, they can tell you exactly the year it was born. This one right here is born red, the one over there is not. Is not. The grass is blocking it. It's about three, two to three inches from the end of his tail. And if you look at him, his face is brown, the other one's black. Mm -hmm. Well, when we get them back from the farm, they haven't seen any sunlight till we get them. Once they released out here, they darken up. The eyes, too, are like a gold color. As they get older, they get darker. So the farm gators, are they just as vicious? Oh, yeah. The same gator, just he was born in the farm, that one was born out of the Nobody petted them then at the farm. No, they don't get no interaction with the human being. Now, nice. last week, we brought out a couple hundred of them and released them. You're going to see some of them. They are light color. The whole gator, not just the head? No, the whole gator. And when they first born, they're real colorful with the yellow stripe. So like I say, as they get older, more sunlight, they darken up. And if you notice, when they were swimming, they tuck their legs to the side, and they use that tail to propel. In deep water, they'll use their tail to work their way up. They can come out the water two-thirds of their body. And on dry land, they can take off running for 25 miles an hour. They say a punch case, a big bag, they run in a straight line. With my luck, I'm going to get the big one, I need a zag. I'm going to trip and he's going to get me. Do you have any idea how many gators are out here? Is it, I was going to say, is it thousands? Yeah. They open up their mouth, there's a big flap in the throat. They can swim with their mouths open, they're not going to take on water. They lift their heads up a little bit to swallow, so when they open up the flap, they're not taking on two, three gallons of water. They bite underwater, they don't swallow underwater. And all these blackbirds right here, the grackles, they wait on the marshmallow open. They are paid, aren't they? Well, we normally <laughs> feed the gators chicken, but we haven't started feeding chicken yet. And the reason why, with them being cold blooded, if I was to fill up that alligator with chicken and the weather changes and it gets cold, 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 they, they can't digest their food. It'll rot in their stomach and can't kill them. But I think it's time we can start feeding. This morning I seen a bigger gator with another gator that's about to kill. He drug it up on the lane across another one. She had a catfish in it. My whole the catfish was still flapping. So they don't eat when it's cold at all? No. Well, what if it's cold for like a month or two? They don't eat. Really? They the can survive that? Eat a lot in the summer. They store fat in their tails. They survive off of the fat in their tails during the winter. How, how cold does it get here in the winter? It froze here a few times this past year. The water did? It'll ice up. I'll be damned. I didn't think it got that cold here. have any questions? They can live anywhere from 70 to 100 years. Wow. Well, let's keep them moving, guys. Where y'all get Really quick, something? what's the biggest alligator have you seen out here? There's one that goes about 13 feet. I'm sorry, 13 There's feet? There's one that's about 13 feet. You saw him. That's pretty big. Yeah. He's out here, but I don't know where he's at. Yeah, I don't know run. what we're going to see, guys. This is wild animals we're we'll fooling with right here. Yeah. If I tell you what I've seen on my last tour and I don't see it on this tour, uh -huh. y'all going to think I'm lying to y'all. So the best thing for me to do is whatever we see, we see. So nobody hunts out here? They hunt deers out here and ducks, but we haven't hunted alligators in probably six, seven years. They're not worth any money. A 12-foot gator last year, they wanted to give you $120 for that. That's it? So why kill that for $120? Right. probably 60 years old. So what about the dude that's on, is it Discovery Channel, right. that's an alligator that's hunter? That's a yeah. joke. That's a joke, yeah. yeah. That man makes thirty-five hundred to ten thousand dollars for every episode. So it's so not in the gators; it's episode. in making the yeah, TV. It's not exactly. making the money in the gators. It's just the episode. And all that land they hunt on and trap on—that's not their land. Let's say you own this. Piece yeah, of I just fi figured and it was. Say, hey, Kelly, I don't want to hunt the alligators. I'll split the money with you, sixty forty. Go take care of them. A lot of that—that's what he gets. Yeah. But if you ever meet any of them, Troy Landry and his boys are the ones you want to meet. They're real cool, down to earth. 
Them ones from home, a J. Paul RJ, they real cocky, arrogant. They worse in person than they would they on that show. Huh. And Joe and Tommy, they to the east of us. They not on the show no more. Because the old man got around with the wife and got in some trouble in Florida. Uh -oh. He went to jail, so they took him off the show. Uh -oh. Now, they got Troy Landry and them in Florida chasing the python. They had a guy over there doing it that was on the show. They done knocked him off. They done took over that. Yep. And the guns they use, they yeah. show the name of the gun on the stock. They getting paid from that. There's ammunition with Troy Landry's name on it. It's the same freaking bullet yeah, that Remington made. It's yeah. your basic TV reality <laughs> <Exactly>. show. <Yeah. laughs> nothing, nothing real about exactly. it. Exactly. When you real catch an alligator on the line done. and you pull them up, all that fighting they're doing, yeah. they making that alligator do that. Yeah, they're pushing them. Yeah. That alligator that hooks in his stomach, he don't want to be pulled on. He's going to come up nice and slow. They making that gator do that. Now, if he breaks the line and gets away, they still making money yep. from the show. They use a big steel hook, and the reason why, if it breaks the line and gets away, the ass in his stomach will dissolve that hook. Now, if it was stainless steel, be in them forever, he'd probably wind up killing the gator. But don't they, in some of the shows, they shoot them? Yeah. Yeah, they shoot him, shoot him in the head to kill him. But what are they gonna do with them? Skins, ma'am, purses, shoes, boots, oh. the meat, eating. Boots. And then they sell them out. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. They want all the meat. They want to buy the whole gator. Because they take the meat, the tail meats mostly with the restaurants get, but they do take the meat from the legs, the jaw area, they grind it up and they make sausage. They use every part of that animal they can. The heads for silver knees, feet, back scratches, keychains, necklaces. What do they taste like? I don't care for it. We got too much good food to eat around here to worry about eating a dinosaur. <laughs> a younger gator has a better taste than a big old 12, 13 foot gator. It's like a deer. Right. Some people say it tastes like chicken. I don't find it. I had it. Fried. Everything I tastes it like chicken. Pit. We got too much other good food to eat. I like the seafood can have them gigantic lizards. <laughs> <laughs>